Hi, this is Chuck King. Today on The King's Guide, we're heading across the Monroe Street Bridge, one of Spokane's most recognized landmarks. But did you know? The bridge design is thought to have been stolen from another bridge in Ohio. A nearly identical bridge once stood over the Rocky River in Cleveland, and the arch of that bridge was exactly one foot shorter. When Spokane built the Monroe Street Bridge, the engineer, J.C. Ralston, deliberately added one foot to make it the largest concrete arch in the country at the time. Kirtland Cutter added decorative elements to the deck, including the archways and skulls. But today's Monroe Street Bridge is actually the third bridge to cross the river on this site. The first Monroe Street Bridge was made of wood and burned down July 23, 1890, only a year after it was built. A comedy of blame ensued with tensions high after the city had only a year before suffered the Great Fire of 1889. Thieves took advantage of burning buildings. Policemen shot at a man running with a burning blanket. And one woman's account from the north side of the river led to the arrest of the purveyor of the home for strangers on the south side of the river, which was a full six blocks from the south bank. But the blame soon fell quiet in light of actual evidence. An overheated cable running under the bridge had caused the blaze. When the second Monroe Street Bridge was constructed in 1891, it was made of steel. This time, the city planners got it right. Or did they? The steel bridge was 128 feet above the river, and it was over 1,210 feet long. Bridge traffic in the 1890s was generally limited to pedestrians, horse and buggy, and of course cable cars. The Spokane Cable Railway Company built a line that eventually stretched all the way from Twickenham, or what many know as Knapp Park, to the corner of 14th and Bernard on the South Hill. The Spokane Falls Review reported that upon the opening of the rail line, Houses began popping up all along the way. Differing from electric trolleys, cable cars are towed along by an underground cable that runs continuously. When the grip man on the trolley wants to go, he takes the rope and a large grip like a pair of pliers grabs the cable. When he wants to stop, he drops the rope and engages the brake and passengers get on and off. The underground cable generally traveled at a constant nine and a half miles per hour. The steady traffic of cable cars, horses, pedestrians, and more on the steel version of the Monroe Street Bridge quickly causes it to sag in the middle. After only a decade of use, it becomes clear to city planners that a new bridge is required. And the current concrete structure that we have today is built in 1910. I'm Chuck King. See you next time on The King's Guide. If you like today's goodies on Spokane history, make sure you subscribe to Nostalgia Magazine. You'll find more goodies in every issue. Ageless stories, ageless photos. That's Nostalgia Magazine. Have you seen this Wallace Gamble footage? Why are cars being dropped off the Monroe Street Bridge? If you have any family stories or information about this event, please get in touch by calling 509-443-3678.